Hi, my name is Mary Weaver and I'm representing our project. Uh, the objective of our project is to develop a new contact science and learning module for the Science and Engineering Education Center, or SEEK, uh, centered here at UT Dallas. Utilizing electroencephalography or EEG technology uh, while teaching the users about the science behind it. So, this is mostly educational uh, in nature. We had three main goals for the semester. The first off was to analyze and understand the current existing uh, the market. The second is to apply what we understand to the criteria of SEEK, and that is to develop a robust, cost effective, sanitary, and most importantly, wearable design. And third was to go ahead and design and build a prototype. And to this end, we decided to leverage an existing product and uh, build an extension to their headset uh, and uh, pursue the goals with that. So we developed uh, a new headset that uh, reduced the number of electrodes from 16 to 4 and converted the wet electrode contacts to dry electrode contacts. One of the main challenges that we had to deal with with this is the argument versus EMG and EEG signals. EEG signals are the true brain electrical activity, whereas EMG signals, or electromyography, is related to the signals that have to deal with muscle movement. EMG is much, much more reliable, the signals are larger in magnitude, and it is more standardized between users. So we have built our design off of EMG signals rather than true EEG signals. As far as electrodes go, most systems that uh, have EEGs, EEG uh, utilize, or, I, they mostly use wetted electrodes, but we have switched to dry electrodes, and uh, we are able to pull the EMG signals quite well. In the end, we have a working prototype that we'll be displaying here, and uh, we've also developed a preliminary graphical user interface that we'll use uh, implemented with our module next semester. Any questions? Yes. <coughs> How did you figure out that you could reduce the number of electrodes in proportion to the trade offs? Uh, a number of the trade offs of that is actually the choice of ENG versus EEG. And uh, what it depends on what you want your control signals to be. If you want it to be the alpha, beta, theta, and delta waves, then you're going to need more uh, full covering of your head. We decided to put two electrodes on the forehead, and then we have two grounding electrodes behind the ears. And from that, we're using uh, blinks and other facial movements as our control signals. So we don't need a full coverage. The, uh, the commercial product that we leveraged in this design is the Emoto Detox headset. It actually has 16 notes on it. So we can use that. Yes, they, they require direct contact to the head, um, and part of that... Within their hair? Within their hair, yes. Okay. Um, and that's part of our design, is we have a, a <coughs> headband that fits snugly on the head, and requires not too much uh, manipulation to get it fit. Have you considered the uh, Center for Brain Health as part of the UCD system to build on what they've already done? Yes, to a certain degree, I mean, some of the, uh, Dr. Gotthard was one of the available resources to us, um, but most of the concepts here uh, were centered around the placement of the electrodes, and what Aaron uh, was trying to get at was, there's an international standard called the 1020 system that um, defines where to place electrodes. Uh, we targeted two uh, along the ridge line, so we could not only avoid hair uh, and the artifacts resulting from hair, but also because it targets the prefrontal cortex, so that we get the most useful EEG or EEG signal, which we can associate with uh, the actuation of our learning population. So, who's Ross Kaplan? Is that you're not related to Sandra Kaplan, the head of the Texas Brain House? <laughs> not that I know. Okay. <laughs> Schneider did most of the coding, uh, and Devonch, and Sonia, and I did most of the, uh, the hardware and the testing of the materials. Uh, Ross and Justin and Sonia are both CD majors, and Devonch and I are electrical. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm done. Uh, I'll move on to the next project.